channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, today we're going to be doing a mostly full face uh, with the new ColourPop Making Mobs palette. Um, I got the whole collection, the blushes, the Super Shock Shadow Duo. I got the Lux Gloss and I got oh another Lux Gloss. And then I also got their um, sponges, their new blending sponges. But I already have one here wet that I've been trying out, so I know how I feel about them. They are amazing. Um, we're gonna start out with my favorite of the moment, which is the Tatcha uh, Liquid Silk Canvas. Dude, this stuff is seriously like, I don't know what it is, but it makes my face feel so nice. I was breaking out and I'm not really sure if it was a new foundation that I was trying or what, but I it's, I haven't been breaking out anymore. So I really, really like this. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but I feel like it can't be hurting or I would have been breaking out even more, right? <clears throat> so. We're gonna do the same pretty much routine. We're gonna go in with the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 220. I love this foundation. For some reason, I like always find other ones that I like, but I always go back to this one, always. I don't know what it is about it, but I always go back to it. I try to use my phone as a mirror but it's a little far away <laughs> I don't know how some people do that like you use their monitors and stuff because I know they're not close to them because you can't see them and I've seen like other people's setups when they show like my filming setup or whatever and they just use their monitor I think they're just kind of hoping that it looks good <laughs> on camera and not in real life but I'm gonna wear this makeup all day, so I'd really like it to actually look good <laughs> when people see me in person. Um, yeah, I got to use a little bit more just because I need some for my forehead. I just barely took like a little tiny little Oh man, I think, so I'm pretty much a homebody when I'm not working anyways, but I think it's the fact that I know I can't go anywhere that is really like tripping me out. Oh my gosh, and we had another aftershock this morning. We had our earthquake on Wednesday. It's Saturday. Like how long are we going to have these aftershocks for? It was, and the crazy thing is, is with the aftershocks, you can hear the rumble first and then it shakes my house. Um, nothing fell and nothing broke, but it, it's just like scary because you don't know if is this an aftershock or is this an actual, another earthquake. Not the vi dealing with that and the virus, just scary. I guess we're not supposed to say the C word because Someone was saying that, um, well, I'm not monetized. You can't be monetized on YouTube until you reach a thousand subscribers and I don't have a thousand. So um, I used to be back when I was uh, filming before. Okay, I got a little alfalfa. Um, but the, back then the, um, qualifications to become a YouTube partner weren't as strict. So like they say, you have to have a thousand subscribers, you have to have a certain amount of watch hours, and you have to have all this stuff. Well, back then you didn't, you just had to apply and they either approved you or denied you. And uh, I only had like 600 subscribers when I, when I applied back then and uh, they gave it to me. So I was partners all the way up until I think about a year ago even though I hadn't posted any content. 
in 10 years. Um, it's crazy because they kept me as a, as a partner, but um, I think when their rules changed, they removed me, which is fine. I'm like, whatever. It's, I think the whole time I was a, a partner back then, I made like maybe 300 bucks. Um, but my subscriber count grew faster. So I don't really know, like, I know a lot of things have obviously changed since I was filming back then. Like they have this whole new algorithm thing and you know, they recommend you. Whereas back then there weren't very many beauty YouTubers anyway. So I don't know the ones, the people that I found that I used to follow back then, or that I probably still follow because I haven't gone through all my follower list, you know. Um, I think I just kind of found them. I actually don't even really know how because I don't know if they were recommending people back then too. Um, I just know that there was like X Barkage and, um, Oh my gosh, there was another girl that I used to follow. I cannot remember her name, but she did Purely Bare Minerals. And I think it's because that was like the first company that started sponsoring people back then that I can think of. Them and uh, there was another one, Ocean something. I can't remember what they're called. But um, they had those like 120 pan palettes that were the size of like a dime and you could do every look with them <laughs> ever like if you bought one of those you'd never needed another palette for the rest of your life um yeah so they had um i think that bare minerals or bare essentials or whatever they're called now was like the first company that actually started sending people pr that i know of um, cause that's what she, that's all she ever showed. And then she ended up working at Sephora. And then when she started working at Sephora, she quit filming, um, uh, YouTubers as anybody that could be influential in buying anything. It took a while for that to finally kick in and them to realize like, oh, um, these people can help us sell stuff, you know? And by then I was kind of like over YouTube. I didn't really care. I thought it was really cool how people started to get really big into YouTube, but I just wasn't into it anymore. I thought, okay, well that's cool, but maybe one day I'll come back to it. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, and here I am. Okay. So we are going to go into, oh, let's finish the face before we do anything. So I had shown you guys that really big brush I got from Morphe. It was like that huge fan brush the last time. Oh, here, I'm not really liking this. I don't know if, I don't know how they make that big, huge brush work because I need a smaller brush in order to function normally <laughs> I just it's like too big I really like these Royal and Lane Nichols brushes though they're soft but they're not like super soft to the point where uh, they're flinging the product everywhere they're dense enough where they're getting you precision application but okay base feels nice we're gonna set it Get it. You just was hoping to fix it and forget it. Okay. Alright, we've primed our eyes. Now we're going to go ahead and oh, I was gonna put blush on. Dang it, we'll do that after my face dries. Okay, so making mobs. I haven't even looked at this. So this comes with nine shadows. Um, R and R, Solitaire, Big Moves, by Coastal, A la Mode, Move on Up, Move on Up, Tongue Tied, 
Marquee and Big Fig. The packaging is so pretty. Is that not like the prettiest? This is what the inside looks like, which kind of reminds me a little bit of the Dior one. Is mom's like the color of the season? I'm not sure. But let's go in and see what looks we can create with this. So this is R&R, &R, which is, it is a white metal color. Arnold, come up here with him. Okay, shh. It's a light mauve. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. It's very light. Um, they did put, you know what, they've got, I thought this one in the middle, um, all in mode, was a pressed glitter, because it kind of looks like it, but it's not. It's a uh, Super Shock. This is uh, two swipes into it, and this is one. So crazy. It doesn't even look the same. Hmm. And then this is by Coastal. And then mauve on top is this one here so that's all of them hmm okay we're gonna go in maybe we'll do a kind of like a halo eye so i'm gonna go in with big fig solitaire i think <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in the outside first I barely touched this into it and look how much pigmentation, but we all know ColourPop is pigmented. They are known for that. I don't think that that is usually the problem. I don't really hear a lot of people complain about ColourPop's makeup. I think it's more how much they drop all the time but I don't know why people complain about that because you don't have to buy it like <laughs> they could drop something every day and uh, no one's forcing anyone to purchase it right like I only purchase the things that really catch my attention um, they had a lot of, of those pastel like the mint one and all that I didn't pick those up because they're not my Bead. like those aren't typically colors I would wear anyway so I'm not gonna just buy them just because oh color pop drops and things so I'm just gonna automatically purchase it now okay so that was too big of a brush for my inner corner I'm gonna try to find something a little smaller here we go it's a NARS 13 brush go in with that so right now that's kind of what we've got going on um, I'm really liking the way this looks pretty but I really like mauves mauves and browns are like my thing I think they're pretty And they look really nice on on most skin tones. Okay, so that's how we look right now. Real crazy. And we're having a mimosa. It's actually champagne and cranberry juice because I ran out of uh, orange juice. So I don't really know if we still consider this a mimosa. It tastes kind of funky. I think I put too much champagne and not enough cranberry juice. Um, okay, so I think we're good. I don't know, I think I'm supposed to bring it over, right? Just a little kind of connected up here. Slightly, yeah, there we go. Okay, and then in the middle, 
I think we're going to put, let's see, move, move on top. I don't know if that shows up or not. Oh no, I got it on my face. I got my lower lash. Okay, we're gonna mix two of these because I feel like it's not really showing up like how I would have thought it would have. It is a very beautiful topper, more than it is something that's a standalone. Um, so this is kind of what we've got so far. I got glitter under my eyes. Nobody knows. Let's see, I'm wondering if I use like a brush like this and then wet it, which I don't usually typically wet my eyeshadow. Oh, I like that. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. It's It looks pretty. It looks prettier definitely in person than it does when I feel like it's coming off to you guys. But I like it. I think it's very nice. Okay, so I'm going to go underneath my lash line with a different color. Okay, we're going to go underneath with Big Mauve, which is this color in the corner. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that doesn't really show up on me. It's too light. So we're going in with Big Fig, which this palette does have a lot of fallout, like on the pan. And we're going to go in with a little bit more solitaire to kind of tie in the top to the bottom. more of this color than the outer does. Okay. I'm gonna go in with a fluffier fluffier brush and kind of uh, diffuse this a little bit. Okay, so right now so far this is what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and my lashes and I will be back and then we will look at the blushes. So I actually wanted to also open up these super shock shadows because I want to see what they look like and maybe they would have added a little bit more to that inner in that middle. Um, okay, so I haven't really looked at these either. So we've got Day Trippin', which looks like that. And then we've got Bloomer, which looks like this. So Bloomer. Day tripping. So I think day tripping would have probably maybe added a little bit more light to the middle. Let's try it. Yeah, I mean it did. I 
I wouldn't necessarily call this a halo eye anymore. <laughs> I feel like the colors are kind of just meshing together now. Um, I would have probably had to cut the crease in the middle to really get this to be what I wanted it to be, but I didn't really want to do all that. So I really like this uh, palette though. I think it's really pretty. Um, I won't say that it's unique to anything I, you know, to my collection. Um, I have pretty much all of those colors are at least similar to them in something else. Um, the only thing that I think is unique to ColourPop is their Super Shock Shadows. Whether they're in the palettes or on their own, they've never found anything that's as great as those. So it came with two blushes, which is Coast to Coast. Looks like this is Coast to Coast. And then there is Catch My Vibe, which is a super, super pink. I think I'm going to go into Coast to Coast. Hmm. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with my son down here. Because um, I, I got this uh, collection in yesterday and I really wanted to show it. So I really like this color. I'm going to add a little bit of the other one. Which is Catch My Vibe. To the apples which is the super pink one see oh, it's got such a really pretty imprint it almost makes you not want to use it oh okay we have to take this down a notch I'm looking clownish yeah no, 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 no. Okay, that didn't work. We're gonna have to use a little bit of powder. So we're gonna go into our Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish at number one. This is my second one. I actually finished this. If you guys uh, are looking for a good powder, this is it. Okay, I toned it down just a tad. All right, what else is in here? So it didn't come with like any highlighters or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one by Makeup Obsession, uh, Mega Destiny. And put this on the, oh, I love these highlighters by Makeup Obsession. They're so good. So pretty. I'm going out for the night and I'm literally not going anywhere. Okay. We are going to now let's look at the lip colors. Okay, so we've got this one, which is check in. Looks like this. I like their uh, ColourPop glosses, but I've only really tried the ones in a tube. This one, it's pretty. Let's see what the other one looks like. Are these supposed to be plumping? Because they smell kind of minty. I don't know if it says that somewhere though. It doesn't. They smell really good but it smells like it would be uh, plumping a little bit. Okay, and the other one is Fakey With It. And it looks like this. So that's them next to each other. I think we're gonna go with the lighter of the two just cause the eyes are so dark. Let's see. This just looks clear. <laughs> it doesn't really have a lot of color. I mean, it's a tiny bit. Mm. They feel really moisturizing, but they are pretty sticky. Um, and I don't like sticky glosses at all. 
Uh, so this would absolutely drive me insane. I can still feel it. Yeah, so I'm not a fan of these. This is the first time I've ever tried these ones. I think I might even have other ones, but I've just never used them yet. Um, yeah, not a fan. Uh, those just aren't my thing. I would rather have like an actual gloss, like they're one that comes in a tube. It doesn't feel like that at all. So we'll go in with just a tint. I like these a lot. They feel like, uh, no, this color does not look good. Um, these feel like a chapstick. There's no stick. I really, really, really like that about them. Okay, so then we'll go in with something else. <laughs> this is just too bright for this eye. We're just gonna go with something that's not color pop. This is the Fenty. Uh, just they're clear and I know a lot of people are like oh my gosh those are ridiculously expensive for just a clear gloss and they are um, if you don't want to spend this much I think NYX has one the lingerie one that's clear oh my gosh that one is so good it's so it feels so nice and it's not sticky at all okay so this is the final look. My thoughts are, I love the palette. Oh, too much. <coughs> I love the palette. I think that it is beautiful. It is very affordable. I mean, all of ColourPop's makeup is. Um, you're definitely gonna get your money's worth with these. Um, I love that there's not a pressed glitter in it, that they're all super shock shadows. That is so nice. You know, because I, I'm not a fan of the glitter. Um, the blushes are pretty. I think that they went on really, really nicely. I love the Super Shock shadows that came separately, but I am a huge fan of those regardless. Um, I buy those singly on their own as it is. And if you guys have watched my videos before, you know that my favorite of all of them is Frog. It just it looks beautiful on any look. Um, it's just gorgeous. So if you're gonna, if you are wanting to try them for the first time, pick up Frog. You will not be disappointed. Um, so yeah, I think that overall I liked everything except for the glosses. I think the glosses are just too sticky. They, they, um, and they, obviously they dried down sticky too because when I took it off, my, they were still sticky. So you're gonna feel that stick regardless and that doesn't feel very nice. I don't like it anyway. Some people don't mind it. If you don't mind it, they are beautiful colors. I just don't like the stick. So here's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying sane <laughs> and I hope that um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend, a great rest of your week coming, and a marvelous month. And um, I am thinking of going on doing a live. I just have to figure out how to do the, um, the because I see how people put like polls and like, or they put just a message like, oh, I'm going to be going live at this time or whatever. I don't know how to do that yet, so I have to figure that out. And then once I have figured that out and I can warn you guys in advance that I'm going to be going live, that way I'm not there talking to myself, then um, I will do it. Um, I think it would be really fun to be able to sit and chit chat with you guys live. So, all right guys, I will see you guys in the next one.